This is Brooke. I'm Brooke and I'm Fisher. Brooke is a 24-year-old woman born with Down syndrome. It doesn't define who she is, but her mom says it hasn't been easy. Challenging. It's devastating because you don't know um, what's going to happen for her life. And I, as a mother, you're not sure what your role is and what you're going to do to help support her to give her a life. And you don't know how she's going to be accepted, you know, by other people. Margie Fisher says Brooke's life has been challenging, but a good challenge. She calls the Bald Eagle School District phenomenal and says the close-knit community helped shape Brooke into the woman she is now. The community, Bald Eagle School, was phenomenal. They really rallied around her, supported her, and gave her opportunities. Had she not had opportunities, I don't think she would have been uh, successful. Every year, 6,000 babies are born with Down syndrome. Brooke's mom says her disability does not stop her from reaching her fullest potential. She sings the national anthem like at Penn State. like. I, you know, who gets those opportunities? Right now, Brooke has three jobs and told me she's led a busy life. Very busy. Place. I'm on the place. Basketball. Basketball. Soccer. soccer horseback riding. That's in my blood. I like to ride them. Brooke and her mother Marjorie even published a book about her experiences. Her interest in horseback riding inspired the book. She won a state competition with an old blind horse. I just felt that um, her whole attitude towards competition was just right. I thought, I got to share this story uh, for other people, for other children, so that their approach to competition is like Brooke. And of course, she can't stop talking about her boyfriend. I find time with him. He's cute and happy. He made me laugh. Turned my world upside down and right side up. Um, just giving me a good perspective on things and um, I don't know, she's the, probably one of the most inspirational people I've ever spent time with. And she makes her mother proud. Her being responsible for being a self-advocate. Yeah, she's a pretty cool kid. I'm Andrea Smith reporting for Center County Report.